Good afternoon, guys. Today we are going to be working on lesson 6.5, and that's working on tens. And today our essential question is, how can you model and name groups of 10? And so I need you to get to 257. If you need a minute to get there, please pause the video. Um, if you're there, then we are going to move on. It says, use cubes to solve the riddle. Draw and write to show your work. So it says, I am thinking of a number that is the same as 110 and four ones. What is my number? So we learned a couple different ways to do this. So first I'm gonna use cubes. I already went ahead and put together my 10 sticks. So it said it needs 110 and four ones. So I'm going to grab my ones right here. One, two, three, four. Can anybody tell me what that number is? If you have one ten and four ones. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Or... We can do this another way. Some of you guys figured it out yesterday. Just like we do every day when we're counting the days we have been in school, we have a tens place and a ones place. Okay, so how many ones do we have? One, two, three, four. We have four. How many groups of 10 do we have? Right, we just have one. So we're gonna put it right there. So what is that number? 14, okay. If we rewrote it, it would look just like that. Yesterday we also learned another way to write it. We could write it one, whoops, one ten stick and one, two, three, four. Just like we should, um, did yesterday. We could also write it 10 plus four, right? Or one 10 and four ones. We learned about all these the last couple of days. All right, so I'm gonna go to the second question. It says, I am thinking of a number that is the same as one 10 and zero ones. So, how many 10 sticks are we going to need? How many did it say? Right, it said one. So we need one 10 stick. And how many ones? Right, it said zero. So, we can do this again. We can have our 10s and ones. And we had zero ones and one 10, right? We could go write it by just putting one ten stick. We could do 10 plus zero. We could do one ten and zero ones. Okay, we could write it lots of different ways, but how many are in one ten and zero ones? 10. The answer is 10. Very good. We're going to go ahead and turn to the next page. And it says, you can group ones to make 10. So kind of like we worked on yesterday, um, we would find, we would count 10, you could circle that group, and then you could um, put them all together like they've done here. So it says, if we have 20 ones, we have 20 individual cubes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There's 20 ones right there. We're going to make those into groups of 10. Here is our first group of 10. We will circle. And then here is our second group of 10. We will circle. So if we were doing this, I would have had all my 20 cubes out, and then I would have put them all together 
to where I have one tin stick and another tin stick. So two tin sticks is what number? Or how many tin sticks do I have? Two. Very good. And how many ones do I have? Zero. The answer is two tins, zero ones. So if we come over here and we bring our two tins, we're gonna, it says draw a quick picture to show tins. So we could draw this out like we learned yesterday. We have one, two, because we have two tin sticks. So two tin sticks equals 10, 20. Basically, we're gonna be counting by tens if we have tin sticks. All right, let's go ahead and try this one down here. It says make groups of tens, then write the tens in the one. So right here, we can count. It says there's 30 ones is equal to what? So we can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Circle the first group. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Second group. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's my third group. So how many groups of 10 do I have in there? Right, I have three. Do I have any left over? Do I have any singles or ones left over? No. So it would be a zero. Now I can come over here and I can um, use my 10 sticks again to show me first. I had three groups is what I decided. So I could draw me a picture, one, two, three. I could write I have three tens because I do, or I can count over there. And three tens is equal to 10, 20, 30. All right, I'm gonna do the next one with you. Okay, number two, I have 40 ones. Okay, so I need to count and see how many groups of tens I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So how many groups of tens are there in 40 ones. We would count one, two, three, four. We're going to write four down, four tens, and how many ones? Are there any left over that we didn't circle? Nope. So we're going to put a zero there. Now, I want you to notice something with this one. The ones, which is this place right here, look, our answer over here is zero two. And then our tens are four. It already tells us how many groups of 10 are in 40. How many groups of 10? The second from the last number is always the 10. It's four, so we knew four was there. Okay, so we're going to come over here and draw a picture. It says that there's, we decided there were four groups of 10, so we go one, two, three, four, ten, six. Okay, so I'm going to write four. I'm also going to draw my picture. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I can count by tens now, or I can use my picture, whichever one. 10, 20, 30, 40. The answer is 40. If you have 10, or if you have four 10 sticks and zero ones, the answer will be 40. All right. You're going to look over here. I'm going to do the first one with you, and then you're going to do four through eight for me. Number three, it says 50 ones. So I'm going to have 50 ones there. Okay. I could count them. Or what do we figure out? We could look at this number 
and this number is going to be how many groups of 10 we will have. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. There's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. There's 50 right there. Okay, so I just counted by tens instead of having all my singles. Now, how many groups of tens do I have? One, two, three, four, five. I have five groups of tens. How many ones do I have? Do I have anything left over over here? No. So it will be zero. Now over here, how many groups of tens did I have? I already counted that. We can look again. One, two, three, four, five. We had five. And so five tens, we can count it out again. 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. It equals 50. All right, you guys are do doing six through eight. Those you'll do on your own. When you're done, you're gonna turn to the back. If you need to pause the video to finish up those, you may. Um, and then we are going to do a mid-chapter checkpoint today. So I'm going to go ahead and go on. I'm going to read all of these to you, and you will try these on your own. The first one, using a counting chart, count forward, write the numbers. Okay, so you're going to write the numbers, what comes next. Using a counting chart, count the numbers by tens. Write the numbers. So over here, three and four, you're counting by tens. Number five, use the model, write the number three different ways. So we talked about this already. I showed you first thing this morning how to do this. So how many tens, how many ones? Um, and then you need to do an addition problem, and then you just need to write the number. Use counters to make groups of tens and ones. Draw your work, write how many. So you're going to draw a picture and then tell me how many tens and how many ones is in that number. And then the last question, it says, what number does the model show? So you're going to count those and then color in the right answer. <laughs> 